Chris Baruz 41. We've got a couple of uh, kind of Western style country and Western albums. Um, really cool stuff, too, I think. And um, similarly, also similarly produced to a similar degree. Uh, they both have a kind of spontaneous or not fully polished almost demo quality, uh, which I enjoy. It's gotten too slick out there. Too perfect, of course. There's lots of backlash. Zach Bryan, Tyler Childers. Um, Okay, but what we got here is Western Marijuana Volume 2 by Tyler Halverson. And El Viejo, Deluxe Edition, by um, Corb Lund, C-O-R-B-L-U-N-D, Corb Lund. Uh, I think he's Canadian. Uh, But like I said, these both have a kind of like uh, Western rodeo flavor, cowboy thing going on. Um, And they both have a real fresh feeling. Um, so, okay, let's, I guess let's start with Halverson. Uh, I talked about, I can't remember which episode it was. It was the only episode where I talked about three albums one week. And, uh, one of them was Western a Marijuana, uh, volume one earlier this year. It had one of my favorite songs of the year on it. Tiffany Blue by Tyler Halverson featuring Carter Faith. Carter Faith also has a new album out. Uh, I'd say they're trying to make her into a big star. Like, it's it's a fully polished, finished hit machine, or it should be, really. I mean, I, I think Carter Faith uh, ought to make it anyway. But anyway, uh, Tyler Halverson is really very interesting, and I love that uh, first EP. And now we've got volume two, so that we've got two EPs. One of them's got five cuts, one of them's got seven, so that makes an LP. Uh, it's a little too bad that we have to call it Western a marijuana. I, I'm not feeling it, but whatever. Um, okay. He's rough. In he's a lovely singer. The vocals are finished more than the uh, than the the instrumental tracks. But I mean, I just think this shit sounds great, uh, and I, I love the way he sings. And he's kind of got a funny, funky attitude about shit that uh, I appreciate. Um, even though he thinks of himself as a clown in a barrel, a rodeo clown. I know that feeling. Um, all right, well, let's try beating around the bar just to give you a sense of Tyler Halverson again. Again, go get, get, uh, uh, Western Marijuana one and listen to that whole thing is good. But anyway. Good, right? <laughs> um, is he actually using that as a pickup line? Drink it like you mean it and quit beating around the bar, baby? I don't know. Not sure. Uh, no, no. That's the guy she's with who's uh, got the strip mall tattoos. Yeah, I guess. Um, or here is a good song, I think, sort of characterizing a whole lifestyle and a whole family, and a whole community a little bit. Um, 94 Camaro by Tyler Halverson. 
I like the sound, right? Like I say, rough. With momentum. The 94 Camara, two dancing in the door, one from my mama. Other from the whore, talking nasty about my daddy, mama, knock a flat. But then later on, I see seed in the back. Two spot that kids, just make you one more in a 94 Camara, two dancing in the door. Both these albums feature a bunch of harmonica. The 94 Camaro, parked out in the street, and his mom smoked a cigarette. Daddy said, we down late in the evening. They put us to bed, and do what they had to do just to keep us all fed. Early in the morning, he am coming down the road in a 94 Camaro, two dancing in the door. Oh, we got the red, we go with the rust, a burning up oil, and a whole lot of love. Made a living riding dirty, now the whole county know that that's good. Uh, that's a good piece of writing, man. Because we can explain where those two dents came from. All right. Uh, I just think that gives you a picture of a whole life, in a way, or a whole family life. Problematic though it may be. All right. um, or how about this one? Nobody's everything. He can do, it's not only funny and flip. I'm a singer to a crowd. He's a great lyricist, I think. I'm a drunk to a waitress. I'm a quarter to a jukebox. Bourbon to a few rocks. A toast of time will waste it. Sure to trouble, I'm no stranger to the rain, place to fall to the truth. I'm a teller to tell the truth, feller. I'm honest to fall to the wind. I'm a weed to the weed. I'm a light. To the road I'm a runner To her I wouldn't write To a guitar I'm a picker To the pawn shop I'm a ray I'm something to everyone But nobody's everything Well, that's just my favorite song right at the moment, I guess. Um, I think it's a beautiful piece of writing. Listen to that again, man. That's, that's really good. Uh, to the rain, I'm a place to fall. A nice lot to have. All right, so I recommend, again, Tyler Halverson. And, uh, he, you know, he had a song on the Twister soundtrack, so he seems to be coming on. Uh, and, you know, as well he should. So I think we'll be hearing more from Tyler Halverson. But man, what we got is pretty friggin' good in 2024. All right, transition. Badoopa. Corb Lund. Don't didn't know much about him. This album, El Viejo, which is great. Okay, you're gonna see this in my top ten country albums in Splice later on. Um is um it's okay. It came out in February, I think, actually, and then they just put out the deluxe edition, you know, sort of Christmas time, as as one does, and with a couple extra cuts. Um, I guess I didn't quite hit Core Blunt. I probably did preview this album in February. I'm trying to remember now, but if I did, I don't know why I didn't keep going because my God, dude, this is really cool, and it is kind of this rough. Uh, Thing. Also, kind of a Western rodeo flavor to it. Uh, but now, in this case, we've got some songs that are almost unaccountable that are really unique. Like, really surprising, too, for that whole thing. But, um, and then also, there's lots of funny stuff. And lots of good stuff. Um, so here's one of the new bonus tracks, okay? So just to justify the fact that I'm re re reviewing this album now and not in February... Um, here's the first song about, first country song about this, I think. My Girlfriend's a Lawyer. 
You ready, Freddie? Yeah. No further questions. No further questions. Well, my girlfriend's a lawyer, so I ain't got to work no more. Just blues. Great. And the law is on finally on my side. <laughs> it's really good. And I mean, the way this song finishes is this is the last song I'm ever going to write. Because I don't have to write songs no more. Because my girlfriend's a lawyer. All right. So first of all, put a ring on it, man. Like, <laughs> she might break up with you next week. All right. Uh, but that's some good shit, man. Um, okay. Uh, and, well, I mean... Um, all right, here's another sort of funny song, but it's also a song about what life is actually like now. Um, Redneck Rehab by Cor Blund. I just love the sound too, right? The folks like us that couldn't afford a long vacation that the bed had afford. Mama says, gonna have a tough one out here. Go right on my teeth and go right on my gears. I just got five more weeks to go in a redneck rehab. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Redneck rehab, locked in shack, single wide trailer for a month and a half. Redneck rehab, mama got. Speed for daddy gets back. All right, I just loving this bluesy ass shit that's underneath these songs. I like the guy's voice too, man, and the writing is really cool and fun, you know. And then it gets unusual too. Uh, but the, there's really solid country songs here too, like uh, the title cut "El Viejo." which is about losing a friend, or I had it all. Um, these are wonderful country songs. Um, this stuff, and Halverson 2 could be finished more. You could try for a commercial version of this that is fully radio, although funny stuff gets on the radio now and then. Um, and uh, I would be tempted to because the songs are so fucking strong. But I love the way it's underpinned with these uh, kind of rough, ready, more or less acoustic type of arrangements. Uh, the rootsiness of now. The yearning to get off the fucking internet and strum a guitar. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, now... I mean, I, there's a whole, I, 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 like, I like a bunch of the songs on this album. Things like It Takes Practice. Was Fort Worth worth it? That's an interesting one where they're, maybe he's examining an affair he had. And thinking like, this fucked up everybody's life and that's that was really a fucking mistake. Right? Uh, it's a little hard to uh, interpret was Fort Worth worth it. Uh, but there's a couple songs on here that I think... Well, like my girlfriend's a lawyer, but in a more serious way, have never been themes of country songs. I mean, I had a Crisper Roots earlier called Anti Authoritarian Country, and there's people like Sunny War and stuff like this, or Anarchist Country people. Really, I mean, Anarchist Americana artists or whatever. 
And I'm not saying Corb Lund is that. But here's a song called Police State, which is just not the kind of thing you hear in country music, but it should be. I got me a badge, got me a gun. Someday I'm gonna get to shoot someone. Be in the paper on TV. Everybody gonna wanna interview me. Holy state, pepper spray, DMT. To investigate, us that gets to investigate, write some tickets, confiscate, season is appropriate, buy some gear and fancy guns to use upon the citizens. I love civil forfeiture, it's making lots of money for cameras that won't film us when someone has an accident. Police state, pepper spray, beat and taste. All right, that's, I mean, I can't believe that's a <laughs> country song or whatever. It's about the militarization of the police. It's about using fines to finance your town. It's about police brutality. It's, I mean, there's not too much country music that's kind of defund the police or, you know, I'm not saying that that's Corb Lund's position, but uh, this is an astonishing thing to write a song about and potentially alienating for your country audience, whatever. All right, now, so that's very unusual and striking. How about this song called Inshallah, which is means in Arabic, I gather, if God wills it, Inshallah. It's a, this is a Muslim expression. I actually looked up, is Corb Lund a Muslim? A Muslim rodeo guy from Alberta who uh, is a country singer? No, not at all. I don't, as far as I could see. This is a wild song. I, maybe it comes from deep in the tradition somewhere. I should have really uh, researched this. My favorite line. Um, it mentions Lawrence of Arabia. It's a love song, maybe to a Muslim girl somewhere in the Middle East. It resonates with people who served in the war on terror, in the Afghan war, in, in Iraq even though it sounds like it's referring to the 19th century, early 20th century in Lawrence, right? Anyway, this is an extremely unusual and extremely beautiful song, Inshallah, by Corb Lund. Inshallah I shall see you when the dates are on the trees Inshallah Till then only in my dreams Habib T I shall see you if he wills it And Inshallah he brings us peace If he wills it Inshallah Inshallah I shall see you when the fighting finally ceases Inshallah Till then only in my dreams Habib T I shall see you if he wills it And Inshallah we are made free And peace upon him be If he wills it Inshallah How I long to make the trek back home Across the arid desert to my son For now he must be old enough to ride and read and fire the British gun But will he know his father when he sees of me the things that I have done Inshallah I shall see you when from service Inshallah, 
I shall see you every Wednesday. What an incredibly beautiful song. What an unusual, powerful choice of a song. I mean, you know, and um, I'm stunned by this album, actually. Core Blonde, El Viejo, Deluxe Edition. Uh, and by this artist, who I intend to check out some more. All right, well, I guess that's uh, this week's version. Uh, I think both of these are, are quite, quite lovely. Tyler Halverson. And Corb Lunn. All right. See you next week or whenever that may be. Whenever it may be. We st we'll tend to start running out of albums. You know, everyone gets their albums out before December, I guess. So we might start running, uh, it might start getting thin as we go on. But anyway, I'll keep going. This is 41, I think. <laughs>